Okay, so you're confused and want to understand how exactly you buy your urn healer in Royal High. This is something that's being talked about a lot right now all over social media since Lance announced that there will be a way for you to purchase your healers. I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to do that in today's guide video and don't worry, I'll cover all of the details. Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B, and welcome back to another video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and supporting me, so thank you so much. I'm very excited because today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how you can buy your own healer in Royal High. As you know, it was announced that purchasable healers were going to be a thing, and obviously we now know that they are available right now, you can buy them, but a lot of people are confused as to how exactly this will work. So I'm going to teach you guys how this will work and how you can buy your very own healer. Hey everyone, I'm Dolly and welcome back to another video. Thanks so much everyone for tuning in. We really appreciate it. And as always, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And of course, comment down below. We're going to try to reply to every single comment on this video since I'm sure there's going to be a lot of questions about this system. And we'll try to help as many of you out as we possibly can. But make sure to watch the whole video before you comment any questions just in case we answer them. Absolutely, little beans. So first things first, let's get started talking about this system. So as many of you all know, this is not through diamonds or through real life money you are all through robux you'll be buying your healers through twitch channel points so many of you are asking what are channel points so first things first let's talk about that if you head onto Lance's Twitch page or any Twitch page on Twitch, you'll be granted with a screen like this. Normally the stream will be here if they're online. Obviously right now Lance is offline, which is why it says offline. If you look down at the chat, so this is where the chat comes up, you guys. At the bottom, there's a little icon with some points or numbers on it. If you see right there, there's some points. If you click on that icon, it will open up this menu, which is the puppy points section inside of Lancelot.dev 92's rewards and challenges. As you can see, he has highlighted my message, choosing a mer, oof, loads of different things, you guys. But if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you will see this section here that says for 600,000 points, you can redeem a halo. If you click on this, you guys, it says receive any halo of your choice. Please provide your Roblox username and the full halo name, name plus year that you would like. Note, these are given manually by a dev, so it may take some time to see it on your account. So if you guys want to be able to buy a halo, all you have to do is go onto his Twitch page, press on that button, hit buy a halo or redeem a halo of your choice, and then hit redeem. Now, channel points on Twitch, you guys. Let's have a little bit of background explanation. When you watch a stream on Twitch, you gain channel points. They are completely free. You get them just by watching. For every five minutes that you watch someone's stream, you will get 10 points. However, if you are a subscriber or have any extra benefits like cheering bits or maybe being the highest gift subber and things like that, you get multipliers and extra points. There's also little things that pop up on stream for you to click on with little chests inside for you to get extra points. And also when lands in stream, he does predictions for you to vote on and if your vote wins you get extra points as well. In other words, you will need to be able to save 600,000 points in able to buy a Halo. As I talked about in my first video today about the Halos Explained, if you want to watch that video obviously you can go check that out. Basically that would mean you need to watch on the flat rate with no extras for around 5,000 hours of Lance's content. Now he would need to stream for 5,000 hours, you would need to watch it and always be there in order to gain those channel points. If you aren't watching, you can't get points. And if he isn't actually streaming, you can't get points. He has to be live when you're watching. So, over time, your points will save up. And as long as you don't spend them on any other items in his shop, you'll be able to save up until you can buy a Halo. And then you simply go over to his Twitch page, you click redeem, and you buy a Halo. Now, you do have to have a Twitch account. You have to have made a Twitch account and be able to watch it with the same one. You can't watch it on more than one account. You can't send the points to someone else. And you can't watch it on multiple tabs or multiple devices to try and gain more. You will only gain points that are fair from while you're watching. So yes, in other words, it will take a really, 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 really long time for anyone to have enough points to be able to buy a Halo. So in reality, there is more chance of you being able to win a Halo from the fountain than there is of ever having enough points to buy one. But the option is now there. You are now able to buy a Halo if you want to. You are allowed to buy any Halo you want as long as it came from the fountain. So no glimmering alien Halo. But you will be able to choose the Halo you want when you redeem your points give him your username and a dev will give you the halo even if it's an old halo that's no longer available 
well. Even if it's the light healer, the corrupt healer, it doesn't matter. Any healer you want that was from the fountain and you are able to get it and obviously have it in the game forever. But you have to have enough points to be able to buy it. So people were really confused thinking you'd use rare books or diamonds and things like that or you'd need to grind for it. But that is not the case. It is channel points on his Twitch. And lots of people were worried that this would ruin healers for the future. But don't worry. It's incredibly expensive and unbelievably hard to get. So much that I don't think anybody will ever get one, you guys. I really don't think anybody will ever be able to buy a healer. It will take over a year of watching his streams to be able to do it anyway. And by that point, he has to have streamed enough in the first place. I just don't think anybody will ever be able to obtain one of those healers. I'd be interested to see exactly what happens though and if somebody does manage it, but I really highly doubt it. So little means, let me know in the comments, what do you think about this new system? Are you happy about being able to buy healers, even if they're incredibly expensive and hard to get? I think it's interesting and definitely would allow someone who is hardcore desperate for a certain healer to be able to save for it if they really, really want it. All right, little beans, thanks so much for watching all of my videos today. I really do appreciate it and your support. It's really meant a lot to me. Thank you for liking, subscribing, and enjoying the content. And as always, if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to like and subscribe as well. I'll see you all in tomorrow's videos and good luck buying your halos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.